Hey guys, back again. For a uh, review, I've been hanging on this one for a while. It's one of the Pick Rooms Harvest Ales. And this one's one of the Wismickle, or from uh, Wismickle Farm, one of the Cascade, with the Cascade Ops. And, yeah. Not a lot of info that I can give you guys, but uh, I'm sure uh, you've, anybody who's been watching my reviews, I've drank a few of these Pecoroons brews, so yeah, go check them out, and I'll probably put a link for, because uh, I think they have four or five of these uh, Pecoroon Harvest Ales, or, and yeah, I'll put it uh, down there, or up there, or down there, or over there. Depending on what YouTube lets me do. Well, we'll see. Anyways, this is, like I said, that's that one. There's the cover. See, it's a Wismickle Cascade Hops. So, let's give her a go. And we're going back to the old uh, Moose Light, op Moose Light uh, opener. So, I seem to have lost my. Uh, Head. Nice skin as a gun opener here, but I seem to have misplaced it. Regardless, here it is. I hope this one's okay because it's been here for. I had this one for a few weeks. So. There we are. If you guys can see that. Another really nice, really nice color to it. The head's really, really nice. Very thick. Bubbles are really tiny. Hmm. It's very hoppy. Very, very, very nice looking beer. Great looking beer. Starting to dis uh, some of the carbonation starting to disappear, but there's still something there. But take another sniff of her. It's quite hoppy. At least that's something I'm smelling, but. Very nice smelling. It's like it's got a nice earthy tone to it. Earthy tone to it, you know what I mean? <clears throat> now I shouldn't say <laughs> you know what I mean, because obviously some of these probably won't, but uh anyways, yeah. Really nice color. I do like the orangey color, the orangey amber colors. And this one head on this is still Kicking around. Kind of nice lacing, I guess. A little bit there. Let's give it a go. Hmm. <clears throat> it's very earthy. Nice, has a nice earthy taste to it. I will say that for it. It's got like a it's got like a earthy type of uh, like a fruit taste to it. Like uh, God's harder. Kind of hard to explain. <clears throat> I had one before, like, uh, geez, probably a month ago, and I didn't like it. This tastes terrible. But this one's, uh, <clears throat> yeah, there's a little bit of citrus, citrus there, too. And it looks like grabs right by the tongue. 
there's not really too much aftertaste. Like it's kind of it's almost like a dry taste. But this one's uh, huh. like I said, this one's been sitting a month in my fridge. I mean that's where I keep everything in my fridge and uh, in the back corner. But this one has definitely improved over the last one I had. There's definitely a very earthy tone to it. Which is pretty good, I guess. I'm not a fan of the, the earthy tone. Stuff like that, because I don't know, just but now I'm starting to get a lot of the uh, light citrus on it, like uh, almost like uh, geez, the hell those things called uh, little tiny fucking orange things. It's kind of a giant box. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh. It was like a like a bitter orange like taste on them. Yeah, it's yeah, it's okay. Huh. I'll go with three out of three out of five on this one. Yeah, it's a plummy orangey taste. So yeah, I'll go three out of five on that one, but. But you guarantee you're not going to be able to find it because you know, it was only, I think it was, like I said, a couple out this year. Anyways, guys, as always, 